Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's final final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 5th of November and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended Jeff Ayers and ECM Ensembles. Maybe much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the uh, second half of November. I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video we say was our 6am UK weather forecast and we've also uh, release the European Outlook as well. Please check out those two videos if you'd like to back, like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for Gabs or Weather Vids. We've got quite around 18, 17 or 18 subscribers to get ourselves to 17.1k, get our first 100 within 17,000. So uh, if you could give us a sub, it would be amazing. It would be incredible. We thank you so much for that. And uh, yes, uh, you know, help get us to 17.1k. Thank you so much everybody. Right, okay, let's start the video then. We're going to begin having a look at the situation with Chocolate Atlantic. So we now have post tropical Cyclone Tammy. Still giving maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. Uh, and post tropical Cyclone Tammy could be meandering around, going nowhere fast. So competition is just there. And by the time you get through to Sunday, Tammy, uh, it's going to be around here. Um, and then it looks like Tammy will be disappearing at that point. So, um, yeah, you know, it looks like Tammy is more or less done with, to be honest. Uh, nothing else going on with Trouble Atlantic at the moment, so wait and see. If there, are, if there are any more developments. Uh, CT is sitting at 12.6. That's a couple of degrees above 61.98 average. up the visual to yesterday to the 25th of October. These are the 500 millibar height zones from Penn State University for the next uh, week, 10 days. We've got the ECM on the top. The GFS is down here on the bottom. 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. This area in the actual high pressure, low pressure are, be, are being moved around by the jet stream running above. Red extrapolates high pressure and blue to low pressure. These are the um, mean 500 millibar height zones for 10 day time frame. And we can see that with the ECM got a large area of low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic into West Europe. It goes all the way back into North America and Canada, actually. Um, Ejection coming across the Atlantic like that. So, um, looks very unsettled there with the ECM in the 10 day time frame. It's a little bit further south that area of low pressure compared to its uh, more typical position. So, you'll notice we've got above average heights, high pressure around Greenland and going back into the Arctic. That's sending the jet stream further south was than you would typically see in a normal sort of zonal pattern. You'd normally be doing something like that uh, with the jet stream. Uh, or through there instead we're sort of taking the jet stream down here so not only very unsettled but also a rather cooler uh, uh, variety of unsettled weather as well the uh ecm is very similar to um, so again, we've got below Abbey Heights, low pressure in the North Atlantic back into uh, Canada, and then the low pressure comes across the Atlantic into the west of Europe. The jet stream is down here as well, so we are actually on the cool side of the jet stream with that. And uh, again, we see this blocking area of high pressure up to the north that's forcing the jet stream and the areas of low pressure further southwards. And actually, with the ECM, uh, with GFS, I should say, um, we are looking like we're bringing like, more of an easterly, northeasterly type flow there. There's a low pressure digging into, fr into France. So that is very close, actually. It's going uh, quite cold, I think, in the 7 to 10 day time frame. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles in the next couple of weeks. We're at Sheffield today, the red line. Is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Sheffield? We're starting off around to a little bit above average at the moment, but those upper air temperatures will be sliding through next week. It actually looks like the first week or 10 days or so of November are going to become quite cold, to be honest, with below average temperatures uh, being forecast then. So the temperature only. It is slipping uh, through next week. Uh, also, we see very unsettled weather as well. So, regular precipitation spikes from start to finish, really. So, uh, particularly through next week and into the opening days of November, 
this window uh, just here from about the 28th to, uh, of um, October to around the 5th of the 6th of November, looking really, really unsettled then with uh, some big precipitation spikes. But they carry on actually beyond that too. So it looks like the next couple of weeks will be uh, seeing more spells of heavy rain. Temperature normally is from the 26th of October to 3rd of November. A little bit above average for England. Wales near a normal for Ireland and Scotland. Notice Scandinavia stands out as being colder than normal again. Most parts of Europe or most other parts of Europe looking uh, quite warm. Check out the European out and see what's ahead in the uh, next week, 10 days for Europe. And precipitation and from the 26th of October to 3rd of November. They're coming out wetter than average in the south. Driving average in the northwest. That is indicative of the blocking area of high pressure. You see why it's driving average up here. That's just got blocking area of high pressure that's sending the jet stream southwards into France over so wettest anomalies of New France. Uh, we pick up some of that into particularly southern parts of, uh, of uh, the UK as well. Latest wind from that from Earth. No school dot net shows that we've got low pressure in the Atlantic. Deep area of low pressure today. And we're bringing through quite a strong Atlantic flow as well. So uh, the westerlies are returning. And uh, there's more low pressure and wind and rain to come with these westerly winds. Right, let's start going through chart data then. This is our latest UK Met Euro Road. It's looking for big night on Sunday. With an area of low pressure pushing up from the south, that will be bringing heavy rain in with it. Through the early part of next week, again, low pressure will be in the ascendancy. And then by the time you have to the end of the UK Met Euro Road, which gets us to Thursday, 2nd of November, a week today, we've got a, a really deepening low in the Atlantic. And that looks like it's about to turn a stormy there through the 2nd of November. Let's pick this up with Icon. Again, we see that uh, we've got low pressure coming up from the south overnight uh, Saturday into Sunday, so it will be an unsettled weekend. And through the early part of next week, low pressure meandering about, being further showery dishes through the first half of the week, before deepening areas of low pressure start coming in from off the Atlantic through the middle part of next week. That gets us to midday next Thursday, with again a deep low to the south southwest. Strong winds with that going into France, but uh, that'll be bringing lots of heavy rain in across England and Wales in particular. And then we go through to the GFS midnight run. Again, we see a low pressure is in control for the weekend, so further showery conditions to come. And then through the early part of next week, you keep low pressure meandering about for this deepening low heads in from the Atlantic Thursday and that brings wet and windy weather particularly focused on the south but as that pushes through uh, France and southern England into the low coast of Germany that starts to turn the wind into more of an easterly or a northeasterly so as we go into the first weekend of November we saw it on the 500 millibar high to non road chart we've got lots of low pressure here pushing through uh, the low countries and France and Germany etc we've got high pressure still blocking up to the north and to the northeast, and that turns the wind into this northeasterly or easterly, uh, and that could have quite a quite a chill to it. That could be quite cold because it's coming from uh, a pretty long way east, to be honest. So maybe turning rather cold through the first weekend of November, but would still be unsettled, especially the southern and eastern regions with further rain to come. That's the uh, scenario at day ten. Again, pulling in those east to northeast winds. Beyond that, another low, deepening like mad in the Atlantic, bringing further wet and windy weather into the extended range, a proper dark ball with that one. So it all looks very, very unsettled, I have to say, right way out to Saturday, the 11th of November. Uh, low pressure just remains in control. This is how the GFS 6M is looking. Again, low pressure is dominating and in the ascendancy through the early part of the week. And then midweek, we get this. Low pressure deepening like mad. Again, swinging in from off. And so, spring potentially severe gales to uh, many parts of the country there on the 2nd of November. So, uh, that will be a named storm if it verified. It probably won't do. Probably over the top. But there's a possibility of a named storm there through the middle part of next week. And then another deep low pushes in from off the Atlantic around day 9. That one heading down towards France. So again, we start to pull in wind from more of an easterly direction or a northerly, northeasterly direction as we get into the 
uh, into the first weekend of November. This is Sunday, the 5th of November, day 10. Again, we're bringing in the wind from a normally direct, so quite cool um, and showering conditions, really. Uh, we keep the unsettled weather going into extended as well. So uh, this is Thursday, the 9th of November, a long way out now, but another deep area of low pressure being heavy rain and strong winds in from off the Atlantic. We aimed up looking right like back with the low pressure Slipping southwards as high pressure from Scandinavia to Iceland begins to take over and pull the winds into the east. Very, very interesting weather patterns here, I have to say. It's a very unsettled weather pattern, but it's not a typical variety of unsettled weather. You know, it's not the southwest to northeast alignment of the jet stream and the areas of low pressure that we normally see when we have um, an unsettled Atlantic-driven pattern. This is much more of a southerly tracking, uh, what we call cold zonality type uh, pattern, to be honest. And uh, with that blocking area of high pressure constantly lurking away to the north and the northeast, things could start getting quite interesting if that persists as we move through. Uh, you know, as we move through November. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gareth's web vids. Get them to subscribe too. I mean, thank you so much everyone for doing that. Uh, okay, GM again with low pressure dominating the weather on Sunday. So there will be the wet weather to come this weekend. Into the end week, high pressure starts to reach down from the north, turns to drier but also colder. And then through the middle part of the week, more low pressures coming in from off the Atlantic. That brings lots of wind and rain in with it as well. Through the second half next week, could be a little bit stormy around day 9, 10. Again, we see deep low pressure in the Atlantic. Lots of wet, windy weather moving through the country. So, yes, it looks like a bit of a deluge pattern, this, I have to say, that we're setting up through the first week of uh, November, particularly particularly for more southern regions. And then the ECM looks like that. So, once more, low pressure dominates on uh, Sunday through the weekend. Uh, low pressure meandering around from the early part of the week. And then the second half of the week, we get these deepening areas of low pressure in the Atlantic. So, that looks quite stormy by the time we get through to uh, midnight on Thursday. I think the central pressure of that looks to be around 955 millibars, 955 millibars. Uh, so very, very deep area of low pressure. It's bringing heavy rain and gales or spear gales sweeping through the country there. So uh, a, a really wet and windy, actually quite stormy second half to uh, next week with further low pressure meandering around from the Atlantic into Western Europe as we get up towards uh, day 10. No sign of a break in the unsettled weather up to day 10 there with the ECM. This is a precipitation forecast based on my ECM run from Tometro.com. So showery at the moment. A lot of the shower tending, tending to be around the coastal regions, not as much inland, actually, the next couple of days. But that will change up the weekend as uh, very wet weather comes piling in from the south from Saturday into Sunday. And that particularly focus on England and Wales as well. So that takes into the open up next week with further uh, wet weather to come, showery conditions as well. And then the middle of the second half next week, increasingly wet and windy. Low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic brings severe gale potentially by this time next week, by next Thursday. Could be a little snow mixed in with that in the north as well. So a deluge of heavy rain and gale force winds in the second half of next week. And uh, the unsettled weather carries on up to day 10. We've got another batch of rain uh, waiting in the wings there. As we get to the 5th of November, could be a wet bonfire night. Uh, these are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble's Day 4, Day 10. From the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 5th of November. 11 members of the ECM, on, you'll notice lots of blue and purple. So, uh, 11 members of the ECM Ensemble are still at deep low pressure over the top of the country. 9 again with low pressure dominating the weather. Another 9 with deep low pressure in the Atlantic into West Europe. And 8 with low pressure again through here. 7 with low pressure in control. And another 7 with low pressure. That's just a little bit further southwards but still dominating weather. All the options, the whole, the whole suite dominated by low pressure there. Uh, in 10 day time. The only question is the exact position of the area of low pressure. That's where they're all differing on, juxtaposed with the high pressure blocking to the north. So some of the, uh, you know, some of the options are a little bit different in exact position of the, uh, of the block in, in comparison to the trough. But basically, they are all low pressure dominated and very, very unsettled at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. 
against us to the 10th of November. Uh, 15 members of the ECM ensemble seeing quite a significant change with above average heights building over and to the west and north of the coast. So that's turning being drier but potentially colder with winds going into a north or northeast direction. Uh, 13 keeps the deluge going with deep low pressure over top of the country. Another 13 still very unsettled really with low pressure to the west and the south, but we have got some blocking to the north as well, so that's sending the jet stream a little bit further southwards there, uh, and uh, we're starting to bring perhaps some cooler or colder air in from the east. And then we've got 10 down here, but a mild and unsettled low pressure to the northwest, high pressure to the southwest, and that bring up wind for like a southwesterly direction. So that's the mildest option, the 10 there, but... Um, yeah, you know, most of them are still unsettled, but there is a chance we might build some high pressure in and turn things a bit uh, drier and colder there into the second week of November. We'll see. Uh, right, CFSB2 so CFS, uh, CFS finally beats a 500 millibar high tonight to break down to week periods. The first week period takes us from the 26th of October to the 1st of November. This next week will be very unsettled with low pressure to the south, high pressure blocking to the north. So very unsettled, but not far away from bringing some quite uh, chilly air from the east and from the northeast as well. Uh, week two, look at this, really unsettled. This is second to the 8th of November. Deep low pressure right over top of the country and in the North Atlantic as well. Oh, uh, I mean, that's uh, just like a deluge type pattern. Week three. <laughs> definitely would like to the 15th of November. Low pressure still dominating really in the North Atlantic, but high pressure reaching into the southwest. So that could be something a little bit drier to the south, but we'll be turning milder as well. So the jet stream will be starting to move northwards again. Uh, with that, we will, we will be bringing milder air from the central Atlantic. And then week four takes us to the 16th to the 22nd of November. And that also looking quite mild with high pressure around Spain, low pressure around Greenland and Iceland. So still unsettled, still Atlantic driven and westerly, but uh, gradually, you know, turning milder with the wind coming from more of a central part of the Atlantic. That could be a very wet pattern for the northwest, like Western Scotland, Northern Scotland, you know, that's a kind of pattern that can deliver uh, enormous amounts of rain to them. Down in the south, probably uh, a little bit drier, and I'd say temperatures will be getting a lift up there through the uh, middle and second half of November. But it's uh, weeks three and four, and quite a long way off, and uh, we'll see about that. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the app. Don't forget to share friends about gas weapons. Get them to subscribe too. Help get us to 17.1k. And why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. We thank you so much, everybody, for doing that for us. I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. So we're going to. We're going to, again, have the 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We'll have Jeremy Friday. There'll be a 10 to 14 day. The ECM going 42 day uh, forecast for the UK. And Ireland will be released tomorrow evening as well, not Saturday morning. Reason for that is that on Saturday we've got the second uh, winter season one roundup coming up. So um, the EC42 day uh, is pushed back to Friday, so just for one week tomorrow. And um, also we'll be live at 10 p.m. tomorrow evening, so I shall see you live for that one, maybe. Uh, but lots of videos to uh, watch before we get to that. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.